We're going to be addressing that in just a little bit, Larry, with you. Uh, let's go out, though, again, because we do have a, there's a lot of uh, New York flair, I think, to this this whole thing, and that's what we've been talking about today. Dan Manorino is at a uh, very special school in Plainfield, New Jersey. Dan, I know the kids have been watching uh, throughout the morning. Why don't you tell us where you are and what reaction is to the speech? Yeah, champs, they were watching very intently here at the Barack Obama Green Charter High School. You guys were very excited to watch the speech today, right, everybody? Yeah! They were very excited. They were listening very clearly to a lot of those points, and everybody has different opinions of how the speech went. Now, one of the main points that these guys were listening to was when the president touched upon children. He had talked about how that we, as Americans, our journey is not complete until the minds and of our children know that they are safe and cherished. Hopefully that message got out to these guys. Now, we do have two high school students here. They are seniors here. They were listening very, they're tough critics. Let me tell you, they're tough critics here. Now, they had some things they wanted the president to talk about. Did he mention what you wanted? What did, he, what did you want to hear him talk about, and did he do it? I wanted to hear him talk about college and just making it more affordable for low-income families, definitely, and equal opportunities all across the board. And what about you? Same thing. I also definitely wanted to hear him speak on, upon immigration um, so we can also have equal opportunities for education and job opportunities. Now, he did talk about the immigration. He touched upon some educational things as well. And he also talked about gun control. Earlier, you and I were talking about how you wanted him to talk about guns. Right. I wanted um, him to speak about keeping it to a minimum because it affects our country as a as a whole. Now, let me say, Tamson, we are at the Barack Obama Green Charter High School, so there are some things. They've been writing letters to the president as well. If you could meet the president today, what would you ask him or tell him? Um, I tell him congratulations on another term, but we'd love to see him at our school. We're the first graduating class, and so we just love to see him. You are the first graduating class. How does it feel to be a member of the first graduating class of this special school? Oh, it feels awesome. It feels great to represent this school, definitely. And what about you? If you could talk to the president today, and, and you know you're sending him his letters, hopefully he's reading them, what would you ask or tell him? I would tell him congratulations on his second um, term. He did do some great things during his first term, and he also did set a great foundation that will help him create better things during his second term. Well, hopefully he's getting those messages out there about about coming to this school. Now, we did have Esteban here. He was monitoring Twitter. What was amazing was the president was not only speaking, but he was tweeting throughout his entire speech. So Esteban was clearly monitoring the tweets, but you picked out one of your favorites here. What is it? Let's read it out loud. He said that he was honored and grateful that he had another chance to finish what he started, and his journey begins today. And what would you think of that? I think, like, Obama is a good president. I support I supported him all the way. If I was old enough to vote this year, I would have voted for Obama. He's trying to make college more affordable, and what I want to do in college is very expensive, so I would like college to be affordable for me. There you go. And luckily, you can vote next election. Come around. Now, let's just bring you over this way. We did this since we are at the Barack Obama Green Charter High School, and this comes on a very special day. This is Martin Luther King Day. Martin Luther King had a dream, and the founder also had a dream. Let's talk about it. Yes, absolutely. When my founding team came together, we were heavily inspired by Barack Obama's vision uh, to make a change within our community. He talked a lot about preparing uh, workers for the 21st century low-carbon green economy, uh, those that can uh, create alternative energy on alternative fuels, and we really wanted to ensure that those leaders came out of Plainfield, New Jersey. And this is a green school, so what, what does that exactly mean? Yes, that means that we incorporate elements of sustainability into our curriculum, so we still follow the New Jersey State content standards, but we also also add on elements of sustainability and we have a course called climate change as well that we're offering our students i love what you guys are doing here quickly how many students are there 240 240 and many of those will be the first graduating class this year in june hopefully they've been writing their letters to the president hopefully he will be able to come down here for that special ceremony now that is the latest here live in plainfield new jersey where are we guys Dan, thank you. Some kind of kids out there, that's for sure. Watching every minute, listening to every word. All right, we want to do a little second.